Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2, available now on the PC. No, of course it isn't. <laughs> I don't think I fooled anybody. It is, of course, a console exclusive and is the primary reason why I'm now a dirty, filthy console peasant. I've recently bought myself a PlayStation 4 Pro. It has been rumoured that it will be appearing on the PC at some point in the unforeseeable future, but right now it's nothing more than a rumour. Rockstar have neither confirmed nor denied it. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay, Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! That's me, by the way. Arthur Morgan. He's the character that you play throughout the game. Although, John Marston, the protagonist from Red Dead Redemption, is also in the game. But this is a prequel. So this is a younger version of him. And he has a bit of history with the protagonist of this game, Arthur Morgan. They're not exactly great friends. Let me just start off by saying that this is one of the best games I have ever played. Your gang... This is Jose, by the way. He's one of the nicer members of the gang. They're an incredible bunch of characters. Bring him in here. There's a group of around 12 to 15 people, and you're going to get to know them all intimately. Some of them you're going to like. Some of them, maybe not so much. Poor old Davy here. He's the injured one being carried in on the stretcher. Um... Miss Gaskell. Get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I... We're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. This? Just for a short bit. I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are gonna ride out, and we are gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, Get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. 
Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. Well, so much for Davey. Three of the gang members, myself included, as well as Micah and John had been sent out ahead of the wagon convoy in order to find some shelter. And I'm riding out now with Dutch, the leader of the gang, to find the other two scouts. Bridge coming up. Take it easy. It's probably worth pointing out at this point that, impressive though it looks, it actually looks better than this when you're playing it on a PlayStation 4 on a 4K monitor. Uh, because in order to record properly, you have to turn HDR lighting off. So actually playing the game, it looks better than this. Hey, move up alongside me. Can't see you back there. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. And what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We did. It's stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. But we sure can't go back there to collect it anytime soon. Hey, I think I see something up the path. He's got better eyes than me. Because I can't see shit. Oh wait, no, there is something there. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Er, <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope. Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. At this point, it's not exactly clear why we're in this situation. Something to do with a robbery in a place called Blackwater that went wrong. You run into anybody else? I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well... Don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. It ain't much, shelter. So, this house. You speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders. You know me. Right. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. Uh, thanks. Yeah, Micah's not really much of a conversationalist. 
it's right to the bone. None of the members of your gang, even the women, are particularly nice people, by the way. Uh, be under no illusions. Dutch, in particular, is full of dreams and lofty ideals about living free in the West, but we are all basically a bunch of killers and robbers. There he is. While playing this game, I did start to get, at regular intervals, uh, reminded of iconic Western movies. Right now, I'm thinking Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Eight. Perhaps it's not obvious why just yet, but give it a minute and you'll see what I mean. It's important that you do actually hitch your horse when you dismount to avoid it running off. If you don't hitch the horse, you can usually find it somewhere in the vicinity of where you dismounted, but if a sudden gunfight were to break out, you don't want your horse getting startled and bolting. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Just about the only real issue I had with this game was mostly down to the fact that I've never actually used a gamepad before. <laughs> I mean, I'm used to the WASD controls on a PC first-person shooter. You can pick up any FPS on a PC and you know exactly how to play it without having to learn. That's not the case on a console. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. <laughs> we can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. On the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> oh, look, there's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, some there's a body food in the wagon. I hear you. Just gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. I suspect these boys are up to no good. I'd best get my shooting irons ready. We are at least going to get the first shot off. Looks like these guys are members of the O'Driscoll gang. And there's some history with these fellas as well. Oh, I see him. I don't think I got him though. Is that all of them? No. Who's this guy? Where? I don't see him. Can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine. 
Yeah, I am. I'm quite hungry. And again, we all are. Uh, at the moment, my health core has been depleted. That's indicated by the little heart down there by the minimap. The bar around it is actually my health bar. But the health core determines whether or not the health bar is going to go up or down, depending on how empty the health core is. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. The size of your health core determines how quickly or slowly your health bar replenishes when you take damage. So keeping your health core topped off is important. Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Right now we're basically looting the place for everything that we can carry. Particularly food, because we don't have an awful lot with us. Uh, we're on the run from some kind of failed robbery in a place called Blackwater, and we had to leave pretty quickly and didn't really have time to stock up on the essentials. At this point in the game, it's not entirely clear to you, the player, uh, exactly what it was that happened at Blackwater. Some kind of robbery was involved. Somehow it all went wrong. Government agents and members of the Pinkerton Detective Agency turned up. There was a lot of shooting. We lost some people, and we had to get out in a real hurry. Well, I spent about another minute or two just making sure I picked up everything edible for the rest of the gang back at the camp. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. All right, there's the barn. By the sound of it, there's at least one horse in there we could use. Oh, you little bastard! Well, technically I started it, but let's not argue over details. I'm going to beat some information out of him. some train gonna blow the tracks no, I don't know more than that I swear <laughs> well I would say it looks like you have this Arthur do what you want with him I don't care but bring that horse when you're done <sighs> remember we are all bad men here and there's no honor among thieves I'm going to pick up my gun and my hat and then try to calm that horse down. If I try to lead the horse out right now, it's just going to buck and kick and you really don't want to get kicked by a horse. I have been kicked by a horse in real life and it's not a pleasant experience. So let's calm this sucker down first. Uh, that pretty much seems to have done the job. This is a nice horse. I might keep it. Thing is, if you're going to have a horse for any length of time, you're going to need to bond with it. And that's horse bonding level 1 achieved. All level 1 horse bonding really allows you to do is to whistle, and your horse, if it's in range, will come to you. At high levels of horse bonding, the horse's health improves, and you can perform trick moves like rearing, skid turns, all kinds of neat stuff. Good. 
That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. You need to hitch him. He's already skittish. Oh, I'm going to keep him all right. This is a nice horse. I like him. The hell? Oh, Micah. Oh, for God's sake, Micah. Micah is an arsehole, by the way. But he's a good man to have by your side in a fight. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on. Oh. You okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Dorothy. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss? Adler. Adler? Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Yeah. It's safe to say that the Vandalinda gang are all bad men, but there are worse groups of bad men that you can fall in with. The O'Driscoll gang being a case in point. Hey! Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back! How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Home O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. And that's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? A <laughs> little spot of casual 19th century racism there. Like I said, Micah is a bit of an arsehole. Still, we got some food, some medicine, some ammunition. We're not in immediate danger of dying tonight. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong, and he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry, I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed and... Look for me. 
thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. I do have to say, aside from the graphics, it's astonishing just how good the audio is in this game. The sound effects, the voice acting, the music, everything is top-notch quality. I've played other games with great audio. Alien Isolation is a fantastic example. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is one of the more recent games I've played that has some absolutely standout voice work, but this is better. Somebody left recently, and that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Whoa. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkerton. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Tracks go left, down here. Davy got shot. Mac and John both shot, too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Whoa! Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Well, I say the voice acting in Assassin's Creed Odyssey was top notch. Uh, it was if you're playing a female character. <laughs> if you were playing a male character, not so much. And occasionally they did seem to reuse some of the voice actors, particularly where children were concerned. I think they only ever had one voice actor to do all of the male children's voices. You never get that in this game. Everything's unique and exceptionally well acted. And then there's the sound effects. I mean, I can tell you what a 5.56mm assault rifle or a 4.5 inch naval gun sounds like when they're going off, but as for a 45 revolver or a 44 lever action rifle, I have no idea. But they certainly sound convincing in this game. We are running an awful risk of exhausting our horses up here. And if we end up stuck on this mountain with no horses, we're going to be in serious trouble. Hey, look! Over there! You see that? You can kill your horse in this game if you push it too hard. And it looks like somebody has done just that. John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Yep, that's John's horse. There he is. A fair distance away. Come on. Up there. But he's alive. John, as mentioned earlier, is John Marston, the protagonist of Red Dead Redemption, the game that came out before this, which this game is a prequel to. So bearing that in mind, he's probably gonna survive this. It's coming from up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. Grab that shotgun from your horse. Yeah, shotgun sounds like a good idea. I do have a double barreled sawn off. Who knows what's up ahead? Come on. 
Let's see what kind of trouble that damn fool John Marston got himself into this time. Your character, Arthur Morgan here, he doesn't have a very high opinion of John. Again, there's some kind of history between the two of them, but at this point in the game it isn't completely clear exactly what or why. you got there never thought I'd say this but good to see you Arthur Morgan you don't look so good I don't feel too good neither I'm freezing don't die just yet cowboy Compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Oh shit. You see that on the ridge? Shit. Yeah, that's what I said. Wolves don't normally bother people. Unless they're starving. These ones are starving. Now, this could be trouble. If this was on a PC, it would be easy. I mean, I've got a shotgun. But it's not on the PC. It's on the PS4. And I've never used a gamepad before. <laughs> Two down, one to go. Ah, crap. Got it. Ah, it could have been worse. Could have been better. But it could have been worse. Always got to look on the bright side. I'm out here with uh, Javier, by the way. He's another member of the gang, and he's one that I actually quite like. I mean, I don't like Micah much, because, let's face it, he's a bit of a tit. Micah's just a mean old bastard. Useful to have by your side in a fight, but you wouldn't want to be swapping stories with him around a campfire. Javier here, on the other hand, he seems like a pretty nice guy. So, let's at least try not to get him killed. He's carrying John. I'm the one with the shotgun. Why can't I mount my horse? Oh, it's not my horse. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, horses all look the same to me. I don't know. Come on, then. Let's get back to the others. Let's hope we don't get jumped by any more wolves on the way, because you're relying on me to keep you alive. Oh, John, you're such a pessimist. Not yet. Well, we know he isn't going to die. He's in the <laughs> sequel. The game that came before this. You know what I mean. I should probably apologise to any horses watching this video for my little bit of casual throwaway horse racism earlier. I know you don't all look the same. You're all special individuals in your own right. I'm very sorry. Oh, shit. They're going straight for Javier's horse. I'm going to have to speed up. One down. How many were there? Two? Three? I've kind of lost track. Two down. Crap. More. Oh, God, I trampled one. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. That one's down. Any more? Are we good? We're good. Shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. 
That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. This gameplay footage was all recorded natively on the PS4, by the way. No additional software required. So in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're going to need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving. Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Yep, PS4 really is a remarkable console. Now, actually exporting the video files to my PC uh, was slightly trickier. Uh, but once you've figured it out, it's actually pretty simple. Obviously, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this now. We know the O'Driscolls are about. Surely somebody should be standing sentry. They were earlier. Where is everybody? Oh, there they are. That's a relief. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The West is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> well, that's the gang all back together again. At least the ones that are still alive and weren't arrested in Blackwater. We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. What next? Well, join me in the next episode, and we'll find out. This has been Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PlayStation 4. Hope you enjoyed it, and as always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.